My whole career in AI has been centered around building human-centric AI, so AI that augments and amplifies human ability and unlocks human potential. And I really have this conviction that we can still create massive economic opportunity while also doing this in a very human-centered way. Do you think the way we're approaching AGI is human-centered? No, because the premise of AGI is the idea that we replace humans. Power and Progress by Jerona Smoglu and Simon Johnson, two MIT economists, they talk about how ultimately if you want to unlock the benefits of AI, you need to design it as human assisting, as, as you mentioned, mm -hmm. human, human augmenting. And those are two fundamentally different design approaches. The industry has consistently taken the human automating approach where the strengths of humans are trying to be replicated. Humans already are good at what humans are good at. Like, why are we trying to build machines to then take over what humans are good at? Why not try and build machines to take over what humans are bad at so that we can work hand in hand together? If you have a cancer detection AI system, which is not AGI, it's a very task-specific AI tool placed in the hands of a well-trained radiologist or a cancer specialist, then you will have the ability to diagnose cancer earlier and more accurately than the doctor or the AI system could have done alone. And that is the model that we should be going for. But unfortunately, we are just not seeing an emphasis on this approach.